Hi, this is NJ Cutting Guard. Today, we're gonna learn how to root a fig cutting. So, come on and, and join along with me for this new uh, journey that we will be doing, I believe, three segments in. So today, I have with me a Black Mission Fig Cutting from Ivory Organics that was given to me about a month ago. And so today, I will, do, I will be t uh, taking some compost, peat moss, and a plastic bag, a little scoop or shovel, a rubber band, a sharpie to title what type a of a fit cutting it is, and the fit cutters itself that are right here, as you can see. So first. You want to label your your bag. Now, I have here, as you can see, a pastry bag that you know I had laying around, and so you can actually use a uh, oven roasted turkey bag. You can use a plastic bag that's like thick. You can use a Ziploc bag if you want, a freeze bag if you wanted to. It's your choice. So today I'm gonna to use what I, I use a pastry bag. So what you wanna do is take your pastry bag, fold it like a cup, and you can make your like the, like a cup like that. I actually like you're gonna scoop some whipped cream or some like uh, some jam or something like that into the pastry bag, but we're gonna put, actually scoop in some dirt. And I'm gonna use a hand shovel so that I won't make a mess. And I have here a little box, cardboard box so I won't make a mess. So I'm gonna try to attempt to do this without making a mess. And if you, oops. Anyway, you don't wanna see that. So if you are in a rush, just take a little bit of your cut of your of your mix, and this and in this mix I have compost and peat moss. In my next segment, I will be attempting to use perlite and in water and a Dixie cup. That's the next method I will be doing with my black mission fig. So you actually want to damp your peat moss a little bit so it won't be dry and I actually damped it first and then I used my compost as you can see here in my hand let it and uh it's like to a nice consistency it don't have to be like wet soaking wet but you want it to be like this like I smash my hand and it's almost like clay so you want to do that then you want to take your Fig cutting here, and this is a black mission fig. Actually, it's Brad's fix uh, mission fig became because it came from his fig tree. So you want to take your fig cutting, and where where the mark is, this is the bottom, as you can see where the null is, and this is where the fig uh, will in the roots will uh, take place and start to, aka germinate, if you want to say that word. And then this is the top here. So you want to take the bottom here, place it in your inside the bag, like so, like so. And if you want, you can squeeze it a little bit, All right? So that the air is no air in your bag. Okay. You don't want no air. So what I'm gonna do is that like so. And you can twist the back if you want. You don't want to damage the fig cutting here. So what I might do is actually Yeah, things happen. That's my alarm. Telling me that I have to go to take care of something later on. But anyway, so you want to 
Take your bag. Make sure the figure's in here. Nice and tight. You don't want to ruin it. And you don't want to twist the, the bag too tight. You take your rubber band. And you just tie it like so. And if you don't like how you make sure it's tight and tight. And there you go. Or you can just tie it, you know, with without a rubber band if you don't want if you want to. So it's your choice. And I'm gonna just gonna do this like that. So I did label, I actually do know what it is. So just in case I want to have multiple cuttings, I can have it placed in a nice location uh, with the others. So then you just want to put it like in a box or a container and let it sit. And you also want to get you like a turkey baster or something like that or um, a little drip thing you know tube little thing to put in you know to your collection of water uh, you know a cup of water and do it that way it all depends on what you want to do so this is NJ Kali Gardner it's been a long day for me but I had to do this video to show you guys how to root your own fake cuttings now I want to say this it's a little history about figs figs you know are very great they've been around for since god created you know the heavens and the earth basically figs what we use figs for we eat figs as you as everyone knows we eat all eat figs but figs you have a different variety of different figs there are over a hundred different figs out there you can preserve figs by just you know hydrating them you could use them in salads uh, fresh figs and salads. You can use um, dry figs and salads. You can make jam. You can use it for some people probably use it for uh, uh, their hair. I don't know. Weirdest thing ever. But I don't know. You can make <laughs> anyway. So it's, it's all different types of ways. Oh, another thing you can use it for cheese. You know, when you make a cheese plate. So it all depends on what you want to do. You can also have uh use it in cookies making cookies so as a dessert or as an entree for a salad you know it all the uh salad course whatever so it all depends on your take if you love figs i'll suggest to you go get your fig tree whether it's a black mission fig as you see here or a honey fig a king desert fig whatever makes you happy and whatever floats your boat so, from my heart to, to yours, happy gardening. You remember, you're destined for greatness, and shalom. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Hi, this is NJ Kelly Gardner. Today, we're going to learn how to... I forgot. Oh, man, sorry. <laughs> Hi, this is NJ Kelly Gardner. Today... We're gonna uh, start a f how dog. Oh, <laughs> Let's start over.